Hello animation friends. This is... I decided to put together this video so that uh, people could get up to speed on open tunes and I've just uh, wanted to put together a quick video to kind of be a culmination of the knowledge that I've picked up over the last few days in regards to the program. When you open it, it's probably going to look like this and this is not what you want. Um, you can't see any tools. It's like, what's this? What's this? This is obviously where you work, so that's fine, but what, 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 what is the rest of this? Well, if you look up in the upper right corner here, you have all of these setup windows. The one that you're going to want is ink and paint. Uh, this is going to have your level strip, which is kind of where it saves a series of drawings. You have scenes and you have levels, and the levels are just uh, open tunes saving all of the drawings that you make, all the frames that you make. So that's important, but regardless, I do like to shrink it. Um, first off, yeah, can't see any tools, but if you right click, you can go down to here and you can get your toolbar. So now we got that up here and you can go here and add the options bar. So for example, the brush has this slider so that you can decide what its minimum size and its maximum size given pen pressure, uh, its accuracy, and you can toggle pen pressure on and off on it. Um, what, well, that's great and all, but and we can draw, but we don't have any place for the actual frames. This down here is uh, your palette. If anyone here is familiar with Toon Boom, uh, they have something similar where if I were to, let's see, if I were to edit this style and make it red, now everything that I drew with this changes to that color. Um, but I'm going to change that back. Or I'm not going to change that back. This doesn't matter. Um, to get what you want, which is frames, and being able to scrub through those, you're going to need to get this over to here, which actually isn't that hard. You go up to to the top bar here. You go to Windows. You go down to X Sheet, and I have it put down here, and I have the palette directly below it. Now this is where you're going to have your frames. You can press up and down to scrub through them, but uh, let's just make some extra drawings here. And you can see here it's recording all of the drawings in this level, which is this right over here. So now I can just scrub through these two. So great. We have the ability to make frames, and we can scrub through them. Um, but obviously, we don't have anything right now yet when it comes to playback. And another important feature is onion skinning, which I'll get to in just a minute. Um, with playback, one thing about Open Tunes is if you go to Customize and keep Configure Shortcuts, uh, it has shortcut commands for copy and paste and cut um, and insert. It has some bare bone ones like undo, but it doesn't have much anything else. Um, you're going to want to go to the configure shortcuts and go to playback controls. And here at play, I just do return. Some people do space, but I want to have that for, um, if I go down to tools, the hand tool, I like to have a space bar. Um, and this is where you can add other shortcuts, like brush. You can just have that be B. Um, let's see, let's find select. Selection tools really important. I like to just put that to to V, 
it's default to that in a lot of programs because it looks like an arrow. All right, so now we can hit enter. Um, it doesn't repeat, but I'm sure somewhere in here there's an option for looping playback. Um, but if you hit enter, it'll go through all of the frames that you have so far. Just make a few more. So, look at that. It's like hot garbage. All right, so now, um, something that's really important for 2D animation is onion skinning. And onion skinning itself, to activate, is really easy in open tunes. And you probably saw it when I right clicked earlier, but you can activate onion skin here. And as you can see, there's the onion skin. You can go and customize specifics with the onion skin by going to customize preferences and going down to onion skin you can change what it looks like by turning this on and let's make all the previous frames green and all the falling frames red. And that'll activate pretty much immediately but you'll notice here that um, I can see the frames before but I can't see any frames after. This infuriated me when I first found it and I could not figure out why and that's why this over here is important because actually and I was lucky to find a video on it you have to click over here and if you see these half circles above this image here you can see that that determines how many images behind it's looking at so we can pull out the after frames and now I've set it so that it's one frame before and one frame after onion skin is active. So we can come back here and now we can see that we can do proper in-betweens. Um, finally the last thing I'm going to touch on in this video is rendering because I actually ran into a video where they said well no one's figured out how to render yet and that kind of uh, kind of made my heart skip a beat because like oh no if I can't render it's it's pretty useless but if you go over to X sheet which is that which is that window that we had brought over here so that we could actually scrub through the frames here uh, if we go back over to that in here we have a render option not preview settings but render output settings here's where you can adjust things like the actual size, the start and end frame, where it's going and then you just hit render on the upper bar here and then go to render and it'll render it to where you have it set to. Default it has this place called the sandbox and it has a folder called outputs and that's where it'll output these two but obviously you can change that but at least that's a start to getting these frames out of open tunes and into something else like After Effects. Uh, just a couple, just a few tiny things. Um, you can see that this is vector, obviously. I can select, I can select things, I can, I can't remember which specific um, tool it is up here, but um, we can, oh here it is can move the vectors and kind of tweak it but it also has the option of doing things in raster um, so if you go down here like we just went ahead and and drew and it automatically filled things in but you can have the option of just creating a new level as I said that's a group of drawings um, that it will save separately um, I assume they do this so that you can import animations that you've done in one scene into another pretty effortlessly. Um, you can go here and you can um, toggle it. When you select new level, you can toggle this so that instead of being vector, it's raster, a raster level. And the save in is where it's saving these levels. Ch chooses extras. Um, a level itself memory serves me is a specific file format that Tunes uses so um, it's just useful for 
moving in between scenes in open tunes, uh, you'll have to render it out um, using the X sheets render option to actually use these anywhere else. So it asks you to name it. I'm just going to name it test. We'll hit apply. Now this should be. If you just hit apply, it'll just it'll leave it open so you can make more levels. Now we should have something that is a um, a raster level. So let's bring the hardness down to zero. Let's bring this up. Yep. So you see that now it's uh, raster and it's uh, pixels. So um, personally, I prefer to do a a rough layer with something like this uh, in raster because it's harder to have like varying opacity in in vector. So I like to sketch out the rough version of the animation using a a layer of raster and then I do the inking with a vector layer. So hopefully this gets people started. Um, there are lots of um, things coming up online. People are making videos left and right. I'm certainly not the first or the last to be making a video like this. Um, if you go to the actual OpenTunes GitHub, you can see that they actually have a link to a Google group for OpenTunes. And right now it's pretty saturated with people just uh, um, asking about crashes and why isn't XYZ working and how do I do this. But um, you'll see every once in a while um, someone official putting out a, a new version. Or if someone has a similar question to yours, um, it can help you figure it out. I think this is where I figured out the um, using the um, level viewer to uh, adjust opacity with uh, and uh, levels with onion skin. So, yeah, that's it.